Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to be playing more Terraria. Let's get right to it. Now, I thought it was recording before this, and I didn't. And so I did the intro like three times. So anyway, thanks for joining me. As I said, if you're new, welcome to the channel. I want to absolutely welcome you with open arms. This is a channel for all type of gamers, indie gamers, television show lovers, anything that has any or anyone who has anything in common with someone like me rick 9g who loves so many different things as you can see on my channel i love gaming i love indie games i love tv shows i love lucy three stooges so much stuff i'm also a magician i love cars second channel so much so much so much stuff stab 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 all right so this is an evil guy right there look at that crazy crazy we defeat him pretty easily. I do have a couple more good weapons here. I do have my bow, which I really haven't used much. Which I should. I probably should. And hello, zombie. Let's destroy that guy. Let's wreck him. Let's wreck him. Let's make sure that he's just down for the count. Oh, yeah. You have no idea. I have my jester arrows here. There's no... Ooh, rotten chunk. I like that. Now, I don't like that rah, sound. Not cool. Let me make more of these torches. Definitely need them. Stab you. Stab, stab. Stabby, stab. Oh, hello. You missed. Oh, no, no, no. You almost got there. How'd you do that, buddy? Now, I do like to light up the way when it's at night because it allows me to travel at night. If not, I'm kind of stuck. You know, no, 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 no. Holy, 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 holy crap. Holy, oh, holy moly. Okay, can't see anything. I'm blind. I'm blind. Okay. Ah. Ooh, I love how those jester arrows hit and they make that noise. That's so cool. All right, more problems, more problems over here. See, I'm in an area called the Corruption and that's just what it is. It's basically a corrupted piece of Earth or whatever, or Terraria, if we're on planet Terraria. Terraria, it is corrupted pieces of, of that land. And so there's basically a lot of evil stuff here. And so you got to be careful. Definitely have to be careful there. You have to just take it easy. Oh, oh, okay. No, no problem. No problem. Kind of problem. There we go. Oh, man. These arrows are awesome. They light your way. And you don't want to do that. You want to hit the bad guys. You don't want to hit rocks and stuff. Oh, okay. These arrows don't light up. Perfect. All right. Let's keep lighting our way. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, now you see there's orbs and things down here. We can get those later. We're not going to get those yet, and that's not a strong weapon, is it? Okay, okay. Probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Going to this area because it's super dangerous. It really is. All right, we are back. We're teleported over here now. It would be a godsend. Ooh. So let me show you this. It would be a godsend to get the teleport so we can teleport back. It's a mirror. All right, rotten chunk. Now here we have a brisk shackle. Now this is, you can equip it and it gives us one more defense. So you see we have four defense now. If I add this, it adds one plus one movement speed. So look, now we have five defense. See that? I like that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool in my opinion. It's, it's a fun way to advance in the game and it's very logical. I really like it. So let's just get all these things. There's still a little bit of organization. There you go. Do I want to carry any of this? Swiftness potion? Maybe. I don't really need you to be that fast, so I'm not super concerned about that. Now look at this. You can actually see the shackle dangling off my wrist. Do you see that? Now you might think that's not the shackle. Let me take it off. Look, it's off. You see that? You have like an orangey color. Now watch when the shackle goes on. Boom, right there on the arm that we can see. Now it's on the left, now it's on the right. Isn't that cool? It's kind of like brass knuckles, I'd say, you know? It's kind of an interesting little concept here. I'll get you, buddy. Yeah, look at that. All right, well, let's go exploring the map a little bit more. Let's go on the left. I think we've done that enough, but... Okay, wrong weapon equipped. Now, what's great is that some of these arrows you can reuse. But some of them, I think there's a small percentage chance that they will uh, break or that they can't recover them. So it's just something to keep in mind when you are playing this, that you will get some of these arrows back, but not all of them. And that was painful right there. Trying to light the way as we go on. Look at all these wonderful trees. I'm kind of just making a run for it. 
Make a run for it. There we go. Okay, now that zombie can't get where he wants to go. And I just placed two torches in a relatively similar area. You don't want to waste your torches like that. But that's the Rick 9G way sometimes. Being a little klutzy. Now we can finally probably move beyond this point. Remember, we had a crazy storm. It was like a sandstorm that wouldn't let us get to where we need to get. So let's defeat that stuff. Now what I like to do in these cases is make a bridge. Look at that. We trapped that little Dumbo right there. Look at that. Hey there, slime. How are you? You're enjoying yourself? Now these vultures are pretty deadly. Now they will come up straight and attack you just like that. So be careful with the vultures. They will kind of clear the airspace above you and then just kind of dive down. So be careful. Now let's continue our little journey here. Now don't fall. Last time I fell, because that was a little bit of a klutz. I just want to be able to get every... Okay, that should be fine. Okay, now I think the day is coming upon us. Sun's coming up, which is great. Oh, now these ant lines are crazy, so you got to be careful. And I already see some treasure over here. So that's awesome news. Let me craft more of these babies. Oops. I didn't want to switch them. There we go. That's fine. Okay, so we have this, this, and this. Let's get this, and let's get our bow. Boom. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good uh, aim there. Now that's pretty high up. So let's see if we can get a little bit of some stairs going on. We could definitely do the these. Which I did leave at the base. But if you want to see how that works, I'll show you. I don't know if I've shown it to you. So you basically place one of these like that. And you can go right through it if that makes sense. You can even place one. You don't even need more than that. Maybe place one there. I would go as far as you can go. There we go. Yeah, as far as, or as high as you can go. That's probably the best bet. And light your way. And look at this. More stuff over here. More adventure. There's always adventure in Terraria. That's what I love. There's so much adventure. So much fun. And we have a chest. Now, I don't know if this is our first chest. I think we've had chests before. But, they're always exciting because you never know what's in them. Oh yeah, look, we got six copper bars, we got throwing knives, which we could use in case we're in a desperate situation. Got rope, we're gonna put the arrows, 31 arrows, in my arrow quiver. More potions, and silver coins, and I'm going to take the chest. Now, this isn't our first chest, that's for sure, because I remember we had chests. So let's just put this back, put the dirt back. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. There we go. No. Can't take that away. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of remodeling on the landscape here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Now we can take away that. Boom. And make our way down. All right. So there's a little bit of uh, what's this? Iron. And you should never dig right under you. That's what I just did. Bad, bad advice by Rick 9G. Well, the good advice is don't dig right under you, which is what I was doing. So you want to dig, especially if there's only one thing. Like, if there's one thing of iron, you don't want to dig right below. There we go. Hey, buddy. No joking around with Rick 9G. Look at that. Boom. All right. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I won't be defeated by the slimes. Now, what's that? That's dirt. There, look at that. Look how we just plow through these guys. Look at that. Boom. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. That's awesome. Now look, there's more adventure going down here. So let's see what's down here. Ooh, okay, this is dark. Another chest. Now these chests are awesome because there could be like stuff for armor. Or look, more copper. So I'm pretty sure we can maybe at least get copper greaves now. Oh, these climbing claws. So these climbing claws help you slide down a wall. So basically if you're falling, you just push against the wall and boom, you don't fall. Oh, recall potions. These teleport us back home. No matter what, we can get back home. It's so nice. It's so nice. It gives you that idea of safety that if something goes wrong, boom, you're good. You know? So no defense on that, but we do get uh, the extra claws, which is good. We want those claws. We also want that iron. We got some iron nuggets. 
which is good, which we're going to use. I don't think for armor, but we'll use it for something. And look, there's so many, there's so many little chests here. Now, just to know, I think we did a medium world. I created a medium world. If you do a small world, I would recommend it if you never played. The reason is the world isn't that much smaller. Like this world is huge and it's medium. Imagine the large, okay? And what happens is everything is spread out more, if that makes sense, so it's harder to find things. So let's say the smaller world, the pockets of, of ore and so forth, they're more concentrated, you get bigger pockets. And if they're large, you get smaller pockets and they're spread out. So think about it, more tiles, the harder it is to find, if that makes sense. So I would just suggest small. I should have done small for this let's play just so we can move along and get the series going. But you know, it is what it is. And we'll just, we'll just keep going. I'm trying to get to the end of the world. Ha <laughs> ha. The ends of our flat map. Cause the world is flat. I mean, it is. It is totally flat. The world is flat. I'm trying to get to the end of it. Now there seems to be really nice stuff under us right there. I don't know if you guys see it. Now let's see if we can make some of this water drain out. Something I would recommend if you can do is drain the water, drain the water. It's not easy to do sometimes though, see? And we have a chest. Just what we need, just what we like, just what we want. Just be careful with the enemies here. Now these are super annoying, these uh, bats. Cause you can't really hit the top parts of the bats and that's what you want to get the most. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, these, these hornets are evil. They're the worst thing in the world, let me tell you. I did not know these hornets will come. Oh, see, that's what I'm telling you. They hit you once and you're like dead. You're like major dead. Oh, I didn't think you would kill me that badly. Okay, well, let's go back home. And let's just look at our inventory. Let's see what we got because I think we can improve our situation here. So let's get some iron here. Very nice. Let's just assemble everything. Okay, so let's see, eight, that's 13. That's a really powerful platinum sword, so we'll keep it for now. Copper pickaxe, that's worse than what we have. <laughs> Thanks, copper. You, oh, star in a bottle? Let's do that, what's that for? I have no idea what that's for. Let's get a couple of these flaming arrows. I might just go to that area, guys and gals, and meet you over there because I'm really interested in what's over there. So I'll meet you over there. Just give me one sec. Let me do some inventory management, and then I'll see you in a bit. So I kind of lied, guys and gals. I said I would go over there, but I just noticed that I have enough iron that I can make greaves. So let's just do that. It takes 25, so that use up all our iron, but it is worth it because it's two defense. We have greaves that have zero. So let's get rid of those. And let's just put him back in one of the chests here. We'll sell it later. I don't really care right now. We will sort items and then sort these items and let's get moving to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. All right, guys and gals, we are back here with these crazy, crazy jungle critters. Let's get all the loot. So we have 15 coins, which is awesome. Look at this. We have bottles. We have builder potions, we have more recall potions that'll send us back to our lovely base. We have rope and wand of sparking? I've never got this actually. Uses two mana, shoots a small spark. What in the world is this? Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, so it uses mana. Mana are these blue stars. You can collect more and basically... Uh, it, it's basically like a magical power, let's say. It's imagine like electricity. And so you charge up your electricity, quote unquote. And then after you charge it up, you can use it. And of course it drains and you have to regain it. But that's cool. That's awesome. All right, there's a little bit of, what's this stuff? Is this copper? Now copper, I believe, is the dinkiest or the weakest of all the metals in the game. And the reason why I'm not sure is because it depends. Sometimes, you won't get copper sometimes you'll get tin it's kind of a random gen and for example there are metals that substitute the others just so there's so much variety um so there's like tier one and you'll get you know a certain type and then tier two and so forth and so i don't really know offhand what is for what but like i think platinum maybe 
and gold are interchangeable. Kind of like that. You can look up the wiki and find out for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's just interesting to note. And we're kind of running into some issues here. I need to start using my potions a little bit better. Or a little bit more. Oh, no, no. The thing is, I keep thinking that I have good armor and just sustain all these hits, but that's so not cool. And probably the worst idea ever. So let's take the spark away. Let's get some wood over here. Actually, let's get some dirt. One of the things that people may complain about is the non-realism in terms of the, uh, okay, that's, that wasn't great. I'm going to have to cut down these trees. So see, the physics there is real. You can't just build dirt if you have a tree in the water, but then you can build it. I don't know. It's weird. It's not exactly perfect. But see, the bats are annoying, and they can't go underwater. And I'm almost going to die. I need to take a breath. All right, we'll keep it moving. We'll keep it moving, guys and gals. We'll see what we can do. There we go. And take another. Nope, 12 seconds before I can take another breath. Oh, yeah, let's get some copper. Now, if I start to get overwhelmed, I'm going to have to teleport back. I'm just telling you right now. Again, I don't have tons of good, good equipment here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I might just die really close to dying and it's dark well that's that's lovely how it becomes dark in literally like two seconds okay that seems about right that's terraria being evil with you and i'm gonna die probably right there yep 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 oh look my face was torn off by the jungle bat that is awesome language right there that is awesome makes me feel comfy makes me feel good all right let's see what we got can we do anything with anything let's go to howard Howard is our shopping guy. Can we sell some of this stuff? Let's just shoot that. We're not going to use that. We'll just get rid of the mahogany. We'll keep the copper. Get rid of the mud. Get rid of some of the rope. We don't really need all that rope. Increases placement, speed range. I don't need that, to be honest with you. Some people use certain potions. I don't. I use other certain potions. Okay. Let's go over here. I just go quick stack. No, nothing to stack there. And quick stack with that. 25. I usually like to leave one there so it remembers the position. And let's smelt. Let's see how much we get. We're gonna get eight. Hopefully that's not too fast for people. Maybe it's super slow, I don't know. Let's do a quick stack there. We have 25 copper. I don't think we can do much with 25 copper. Yes, we can. Although, two copper, two. One defense for the head. No, we have better defense. And two, I think we're better where we're at. Yeah, copper is really the most inferior metal. Wow, that is sad that we're so happy about the copper. And we have the most inferior metal. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, let's keep it moving, baby. Let's do it. Now, I did see some stuff over there, close to the jungle area. But I'm thinking we may have a little bit more luck on this side up until we finish the episode. Look at that umbrella just fly off. I love that type of physics, like... How things get launched it's amazing and funny too all right now I mean we have a bit more in terms of our whoa look at that storm this snowstorm we shouldn't even be out right now I've never seen a snowstorm that heavy in this game it's a little bit scary because it does obstruct your view a little bit that is not pleasant it is not pleasant at all and you have these evil monsters trying to get you why are you trying to go through the storm and this guy will push me off into the pit of death pretty much what's going to happen let me see if I can get him can I get him with the fire arrows he's so far away it's hard to get him so this guy is called an, an eater of something not souls is it is it eater of souls that's kind of creepy it's kind of creepy I don't like that oh that's a big pit that's a big pit I don't like big pits. Now at least this the storm died. But no, well, stop moving. I gotta anticipate where he's going and shoot that way. Oh, good, 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 good. All right, can I make this? Can I make it across? Straight of Gibraltar. Shazam! All right. Oh no 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 no. Don't want to do that. Okay. Let's see if I can cross, guys and gals. I really do want to be kind of a little bit more optimistic here so you can build this way 
Okay, a little bit of an issue here. Can't see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, this is a problem. No, 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 no. this is a problem. I'm gonna die. Hold on. I'm being attacked from all sides. Recall potion. Yeah, there we go. Alright, guys and gals, I think we're gonna leave it over here. We have some rotten flesh, some silver thorn, things like that. Silver thorn, some seeds, rotten flesh. We'll use all this stuff in the next few episodes. We still have some recall potions. We're doing pretty well. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for your support on this um yeah on this series i do appreciate it we'll see you all next time and don't forget to stay positive always better yourself and most importantly be hopeful